assalamualaikum students so now we got the idea that uh, what are equivalent ratios and we saw that sometimes ratios are equivalent and it's they refer to the same numbers right now whenever we come across two ratios which are equal we say that ratios are in proportion so that is what we mean by proportion if two ratios are equal then we say that they are in proportion so let me give you an example let's say there are two girls rita and geeta so say uh, they are having some number of trophies so rita has six trophies and geeta has 36 trophies now what is the ratio of number of trophies to uh, having rita having to the number of trophies geeta have so rita have six trophies ratio Gita has thirty-six trophies, so it means six is to thirty-six is the ratio. Now this is for the day first. Now say on day two, Rita has two trophies and Gita has twelve trophies. So what is the ratio on day second? How many trophies Rita has? Two divided by how many trophies Gita has? Twelve. So ratio would be two is to twelve, right? Now when we simplify both of these ratios, you will see that. Six is to thirty-six is nothing, but it's equal to one is to six, because this is not in the simplest form. So when you divide it by the HCF, as you guys know how to uh, make a ratio, how to make down the ratio in its simplest form. So six is to thirty-six is equal to the one is to six, and two is to twelve is equal to one is to six again. So basically, we see that these two ratios, six is to thirty-six and two is to twelve. these are equivalent ratios right because they are equal to the do equal to the same number one is to six same ratio so basically these two ratios are um equal so the two ratios are equal here so these two ratios are said to be proportional to each other because these are the equal ratios so we say that 6 is to 36 is proportional to 2 is to 12 and these four dots between 6 is to 13 and 2 is to 12 is the sign for is the representation for the proportionality so we denote proportionality by these four dots okay like this it means value of one ratio is equal to the uh, value of the other ratio so basically we mean that two equivalent ratios are proportional now in a proportion say 6 is to 36 and 2 is to 12 you always come across the numbers like 6 36 2 12 we have the numbers like in this example you are having the numbers 6 36 2 12 so means you are you always have these numbers in a proportion and these numbers are called terms in a proportion and their order is very really much important like 6 is to 36 you can't write it as 36 is to 6 because that will alter the entire meaning so you cannot interchange the positions if you are having a ratio 2 is to 12 you cannot write it as 12 is to 2 it will interchange it will alter its meaning so you cannot interchange the positions their position play a very important role okay now these are called terms okay the numbers in proportion now the two um two corner most terms that is here corner most term is 6 and 12 these two corner most terms at the end the two terms here in this case are called extreme terms in this case the two extreme uh, the two end terms corner terms are 6 and 12 so these two terms 6 and 12 are called the extreme terms so whatever terms are in the corners these two terms uh, are that two terms are called extreme terms and the middle most terms like here in this case you are having 36 and 12 these the terms in the center in the middle are called simply middle terms so here 36 and 12 2 is the middle term 6 and 12 is the extreme terms okay so these are certain terminologies related to proportion now these numbers 6 36 2 12 12 they are all called respective terms when they are placed in an appropriate order if i say 6 36 2 12 uh, these are called respective terms it means Uh, 6 and 12 are extreme terms and 36 and 2 are middle terms in a proportion okay 
so the order position is very much important now let me give you another example let us say we are having a, a ratio say i am having a numbers terms 2 3 6 and 5 and i am saying these are respective terms in a proportion so that means 2 comma 3 it means 2 is to 3 then it proportionality and then 6 is to 5 so this is the respective i'm sorry this is the in this is the correct interpretation of this okay uh, so let's take few examples and see if they are in proportion or not okay so let's take the first example that is 4 6 8 12 so see these are the other respective terms in a proportion so what does that mean that means 4 is to 6 proportionality 8 is to 12 okay now you have to find out if 4 is to 6 is proportional to 8 is 12 or not so for that we will find the value of these two ratios and compare if both the values are equal or not if the values are equal then these ratios are proportional okay so what is 4 is to 6 it's nothing but 4 by 6 right and uh, now i have to change it and i have to bring it into its simplest form so i will divide it by 2 that is the hcf of 4 and 6 so i will get 2 by 3 right so uh, similarly we will do the, we will solve the we will find the value of 8 is to 12 okay now what is 8 8 is to 12 it's nothing but 8 by 12 again we will find the hcf of 8 and 12 and that is 4 i will divide it by 4 i will get 2 by 3 right so here it's 2 by 3 value is 3 by 2 by 3 and here it is also 2 by 3 so i am getting the same values right so the ratios are equal both the ratios refer to the 4 is to 6 as well as 8 is to 12 both refer the same ratio 2 is to 3 2 by 3 right so that means they are equal okay therefore we can say that 4 is to 6 is proportional to 8 is to 12 okay so yes this is in proportional okay now let's take another example let's take the example of 24 28 36 48 again these are the respective terms so we will find whether the value of 24 is to 28 is proportional to 36 or to is to 48 okay so we'll see whether these two ratios are equal or not so 24 is to 28 is nothing but 24 by 28 and the hcf of 24 and 28 is 4 so i'm dividing by the hcf both in numerator as well as in denominator so i will get 6 by 7 now see 36 is to 48 is nothing but 36 by 48 i will, again i am dividing by the hcf and i will get 3 by 4 see here the ratio is 6 by 7 and here the value is 3 by 4 both values are different it means these two ratios are not equal and that means this uh, these terms are not in proportional so this is not in proportional so this is how you can see you can check whether the ratios whether the terms are in proportional or not thank you